Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with 123news.com and we're going to take a look at e-commerce using cells. Now, uh, just a bit of background about why we use cells. Well, it's, um, it's what powers our store. We find that their support is excellent um, and it's one of the, the simplest, most straightforward, cost-effective e-commerce solutions for Muse uh, out there. So there are other solutions, but we really like the way Sales does things. We like the look, we like everything about it. So let's jump in and take a look at the widget. So the Sales pack comes with three widgets. So I'm just gonna open up my library here, do a search for Sales, and I have our Sales e-commerce pack two here. So the three widgets are the item, the, the button item, the uh, item widget itself, and then the entire store. So if we put our button item onto the page first, now we've pre-populated it with um, the ID here, and we've also pre-populated the text. So those are the first two little um, options that you have. And then we have more advanced look and feel options here. Now you can see when I placed it on the page this time round, it didn't render onto the page, the preview. So let's just switch the payment logo off and switch it back on again, and now it renders. So sometimes things, because they're going back to a third-party service server, sometimes they don't render onto the page straight away. That doesn't mean that they don't work, it just means that Muse hasn't been able to create a image of that widget. So some of the some of the best things to do is just to, to change an option just to refresh the widget. Okay, so taking a look at the options that we have here, we have the item ID, so that would be the item um, idea of the product. So if I jump over to sales, we can see here that the sales e-commerce pack in our store um, has a short link here. That end bit there, that ID there, that is the um, item ID. So we can see that that is what we have used here. We have some text here, buy it now. We could click, we could type in there download. And then when we hit return, we can change the text there. Now in the advanced options, we can switch the payment logos on and off. Um, the payment logos though do help with people trusting you, seeing you as a trusted store. So it's a good idea to leave those on, but you can switch those off. And we can also change where the price goes. So we could have the price above, we could have it um, to, um, to the right, and we can also price it above and then make the widget fluid. So if we wanted this to be a full width widget, we could do that and then we could use our built-in Muse responsive width to control the width of that when the page um, changes its size. So let's just switch that back to price on the right. And now we have our colors. So we have our button color that we can see is this yellow here. Let's change that to, let's say, a nice purple. We have our button text and we have our checkout header. Now, the way that that works, if we preview this in the browser, this widget, we can see that here's our button. Now, if I click on download, it will actually open up the e-commerce um, page for this widget and I could click on buy it now. And this would take me through to the um, checkout system for the widget. So this background color here is the, the checkout header. So we, I could change that to match the look and feel of the widget. Now you can also control this in the cells area as well, but uh, you can see here as well, this is a nice secure link here. So SSL secured. So this adds a um, certain weight of trust to customers. So that's the button widget. So you can add those. So that's really easy. Let's remove that from the page. Now let's take a look at the cells item widget. Now this is much like the button widget, but instead it renders a preview of the item itself. So you can see that it didn't render there, but if I preview this in the browser, we can see that here's the widget with some more information. So we can scroll down through the information. We've got the payment logos there. We've got the image. And if I click on buy it now, we have the same thing happening again where the item opens up and we can go through the shopping cart process. So that widget there, let's just uh, switch those logos on and off just to get it to re-render the look and feel. And again, it's gone back and got the information now. Everything's there, okay. 
So we can also change this to fluid width and we can change how we want the um, checkout process to open up, whether we want it to be the overlay like we've just seen or whether we want it to be a new tab. We can also, again, change the colors of the button to match the look and feel of our site. So that's a, an, another widget there for just single items. So let's remove that from the page. And finally, let's look at the store itself. So if I drag the store onto the page here, move that into place. Now you can imagine this, around this, we've got our header and our footer content, and we've got this store rendering. Now this particular store, we're just using a demo store selling uh, these images. Let's preview this in the browser. And we can see that our store is rendered in. We have all of our different items. So if I did a search for, let's say, C, you can see here that we can search through, oh, it hasn't found anything there, it's goals. There we go, there's that image of the seagulls. Let's go back to viewing all of them. And this is still on the same page. We can check out our um, shopping cart here. And we can choose a different category. We can click on the item itself and load up all the item details. Um, built in, we can share this out. People can add to cart. And then we have our full checkout system here. Now, currently this is switched off for this because it's not a live store. Um, but that would check out and allow people to pay by PayPal or however they want. Now, the other thing that we can do with this, let's go back to our, let's go back to Muse. And we can select this, and if we make the page responsive here, so we've just um, allowed the page to expand beyond the 960 pixels here. And if I preview this in the browser again, I'm just going to close out full screen here. We'll see now that the, the full store opens up with full responsive layout. And as we scale the page down, we get down to a mobile view where we have the items side by side. We have our shopping cart here nice and neat and everything is nice and neat. So this adds a complete um, responsive shopping cart to the page. And we can also change the colors again. So we can change, let's say we'll choose that purple again. We'll have our links in that purple and we'll have our checkout header in the purple as well. So let's preview this in the browser. Now we can see that all of our links and our, our buttons and everything else has now um, changed to match those colors. So this is, I mean, in just a few minutes, we've been able to add either single items with a button, um, the item widget with the, the image of the widget, or an entire e-commerce solution um, in just a couple of minutes. And then obviously the products were all managed through the sales interface in the third party system at sales.com. So we really like this widget and it's great for businesses that have um, uh, maybe 20, 30, 50 products. You, you could add as many as you like, but for smaller e-commerce businesses, this is such a great solution to use with Muse. And of course you can do the design in Muse and because it's fully responsive as well, it means that you've got a responsive shopping cart and you can put it on to the site in moments. So thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful and um, We'll see you on the next widget.